and welcome to our Monday devotion. We are going through the Bible. We are now on 1 Thessalonians part 3 and the title of our devotion for today is Rejoice, Pray, Give Thanks. Join me in prayer. Father, we come before you this day in prayer. Again, thankful for your word that instructs us, Lord God. So Father, we pray today that through the instruction of your word, Lord God, that we will grow in our faith and in our trust in you, Lord God. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. So again, through the Bible, uh, 1 Thessalonians part 3, the title of our devotion for today is Rejoice, Pray, Give Thanks. Let's begin by reading 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to verse 18 from the New International Bible. It says, Rejoice always, pray continually, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So let's read the devotion. These exhortations by Paul hold the keys to unlocking a daily encounter of victory through Jesus Christ. We are to put on faith being equipped with the armor of God. He's named the banner over the doorway of our lives. Through the different seasons of our life, we are faced with changing circumstances, varying world ideologies, and often pressure from all sides. However, Paul reminds us that when all else is changing, we have a kingdom that cannot be shaken. We are the children of his light, bearing an unshakable hope in Jesus Christ. As we fix our eyes on the unchanging God, His promises break through the darkest of circumstances, His light bringing life and purpose once again. As in the lyrics of the song Cornerstone, we are reminded that Christ alone is our cornerstone. Weak made strong in the Savior's love, through the storm He is Lord, Lord of all. The prayer for today's devotion is, Abba, Father, thank you for your unchanging love and faithfulness to us. May we be a people of perseverance so that through all seasons in life, we will know that you are for us and not against us. Devotion, you are our rock and our redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. So your assignment is to read first. Thessalonians chapter 5. Now let's go ahead and uh, discuss the devotion. Now this devotion speaks about a changing world and the changing circumstances that we face each day. This devotion also speaks about an unchanging God that we have and serve. A God that is unshakable, a God that is unchangeable. And that no matter what the circumstances may be, he remains the same. For he is both unshakable and unchangeable. Also, while this devotion speaks about the changing circumstances that we face and an unchangeable, unshakable God that we serve and have, this devotion also encourages us to not waver in our faith but to remain firm and steadfast in the one who is unchangeable. Yes, we will face difficult times. In fact, the Bible says that we shouldn't be taken by surprise by the fiery trials and sufferings that we will face, for it will surely come. So we we shouldn't be surprised. It's part of life on earth. So we will be facing difficult times every time. Different situations, different trials, different circumstances. But part of also part of today's prayer is may we be a people of perseverance through all seasons in life. So our prayer for this devotion is may we be a people of perseverance through all the seasons in life. Now, what will help us remain steadfast in our faith? What will help us remain steadfast in our faith is found in the scripture that we were just read in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 16. It says to rejoice always, to pray continually, and to give thanks in all circumstances. 
Here is the key to living a steadfast, firm life in faith. To rejoice always is an act of faith. Rejoicing in the fact that you know that your God is working all things together for your good and for his glory and that he is in full control. So the only way that you can rejoice through the different circumstances and trials that we face is knowing that all these things are working for our good and for his glory. Also knowing that he is in full control. So rejoice always. To pray continually is an act of trust as you turn over all your circumstances and trust all your circumstances and all your situations over to a God who you know is sovereign. So again, understanding that God is sovereign, that God is almighty, you can continually put, your, put the circumstances that you go through in the hands of God, knowing that God is going to take care of it. To give thanks in all circumstances is an act of gratitude, acknowledging that our God is a good, good God, a good, good Father. Also by recognizing every good thing that He has done and He is doing in every situation. To give thanks in all circumstances is an act of gratitude, wherein you acknowledge that your God is a good, good God, a good, good Father, and also by recognizing every good thing in every situation and every circumstance that God is doing in your life. So it tells us to rejoice always, to pray continually, and to give thanks in all circumstances. I pray that as we apply God's word, that we will remain steadfast in our faith in Him. Join me in prayer. Father, we thank you once again for this day and for this short message, Lord God, that is shared with your people. I pray, Lord God, that every one of us will learn, Lord God, that we will grow, Lord God, in our faith in you, in our relationship with you. We give you thanks. We give you praise, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Again, I hope you learned something. If you did learn something, go ahead and share it with your family and friends. And always remember that God is and will always be good. God bless you. Have a great day. See you Wednesday and see you Sunday.